Hello and welcome to a specialist news special um, on what is to the car industry uh, a sombre occasion but we should treat this as a celebration. Marcello Gandini and I apologise to all our Italian viewers for my poor Italian uh, pronunciations. I know there's nothing worse than a British YouTuber trying to pronounce Italian names properly. Marcello Gandini, uh, born on the 26th of August 1938 in Turin, Italy, passed away last week on the 13th of March uh, at his home in Rivoli, Italy. He was an Italian car designer, also an interior and exterior building designer, truck designer and uh, various other things including his designs were the Alfa Romeo Carabo, Montreal, the Lancia Stratos Zero and Stratos HF, Maserati Casmin, Ferrari GT4, Fiat X19 a multitude of Lamborghinis for which he is forever remembered including the Bravo, Miura, Marzal, Espada, Urocco, Diablo and of course the Countach. Car Design News awarded Gandini their first Lifetime Achievement Award in 2012 saying the stature of the Italian designer within the industry cannot be overstated adding if there was an Olympic event for the greatest car designer of all time Marcello Gandini would surely be on the podium and his medal would not be bronze. Flavio Monzoni chief design officer at Ferrari said Gandini is probably the greatest car designer ever. Son of an orchestra conductor, Gandini was born in Turin on the 26th of August 1938. In 1963 he approached Nuccio Bertoni, head of Gruppo Bertoni, for work. However, the then head designer and prodigy Giorgetto Guigiaro I can never pronounce that, I do apologise then their chief designer opposed him being hired. When he left Bertoni two years later Gandini was indeed hired and worked for the company for another 14 years and thus was born one of the great design rivalries throughout history as the two men continued to lead the way in car design for the next few decades. Probably his most famous work and one of the most enduring is the Lamborghini Countach and here you can see it is in a reproduction or a recreation of the original Countach concept car created by Lamborghini themselves for an original customer so we can as Enwind Motors do we, we just for clarification we always call the cars that use the original running gear recreations or reproductions rather than replicas just so that you can distinguish between the two but you can see from the detail on this fantastic and stunning car the thought the detail that went into that original concept. It is Gandini design at its purest. Ferrari hired Bertoni to do the second generation Dino, the Dino 308 GT4, later rebranded as Ferrari's first V8 mid-engined car. It became the only Bertoni and Gandini design for Ferrari that ever made it into production. Although not appreciated at the time it has grown to develop a large following. 
Amongst Gandini's many concept cars, probably one of the most iconic is the Lancia Stratos Zero. It bore very little resemblance to the Lancia Stratos rally car that followed, but it created a relationship between Lancia and Bertoni, and as such, it led to the conversations that led to the rally car, and hence the name carrying across. In a 2009 interview with Robert Cumberford, editor at Automobile magazine, Gandini indicated that his design interests are focused on vehicle architecture, construction, assembly and mechanisms, not appearance. In other words, form follows function. And I think the most clean and pure version of this is the Lancia Stratos rally car. Lancia with the Stratos rally car wanted to make a statement they had witnessed the Alpine 110 and realised that a dedicated, pure design rally car would last a long time and would definitely act as a halion model for the brand. The rally drivers themselves were consulted in the design process and this led to the uh, helmet visor screen layout which gave them incredibly good vision over the front of the car. The short wheelbase made the car nimble. The broad stance helped again to make the car nimble on some of the twistier rally stages. And the enigmatic Ferrari Dino V6 provided the power and all of it is clothed in the purest form over function design that Gandini has ever created. His work wasn't just supercars and exotics, he also designed practical mass production cars. Little known amongst enthusiasts maybe is the fact that he designed the Innocenti Mini, the first generation Volkswagen Polo. He did the first generation BMW 5 Series and probably his most famous car design and one that he used as a daily runner himself is the Citroen BX. Now this car arguably saved Citroen as a brand but more importantly it is a car that both at the time and since stands alone, looks unique and to certain eyes, it cer certainly still looks fresh today. Gandini left Bertoni in 1979 to pursue freelance automotive, industrial and interior design. He worked exclusively for Renault for the first five years and created the second generation Renault 5, the Supersync, and the Renault Magnum truck, amongst others. Early work on the Countach replacement was also placed in the hands of Marcello Gandini and the Diablo that followed, to a certain extent, followed his original design. Although Chrysler had taken over the company by this point and had made modifications, Around the same time, the Suzetta Marauder supercar with an astonishing V16 designed by an ex Lamborghini car engineer and styled by Gandini is said by many to be much closer to his original design for the Diablo. Amongst his work for Maserati were the Casmin, the Ghibli 2, the Quattro Porte 2 and for the Maserati Chamal and the Maserati Chubasco and he also did the first and the second by turbo facelift. 
let's take a moment just to take a look at some of the most iconic designs that this most talented of car designers graced the car industry with. Marcello Gandini passed away on the 13th of March 2024 at the age of 85.